Okay, in this video, I want to talk about adding secondary categories to our visualizations. Now, up until now, we've just been using basically one dimension, right? So we've been grabbing our breed, one dimension, one thing, and then the count, right? So, okay, that's great while we're just learning, but chances are you're going to want to do more than one thing at once. How do we do that? Well, we've kind of looked at this briefly in other videos. All we need to do is drag a second dimension into our column. So for instance, if we want the license type, we could do this. And now this gets a lot more complicated. So you're likely going to want to drill down into very specific things using filters. So we should set up a filter. So, so let's grab license type and I'm going to control drag over to filters. And you can see these are the different license types that we have dog, individual, female, dog, individual, license, free, license, duplicate, individual, male, neutered, spayed, neutered, male, spayed, female, and on and on. Let's just say we just want to we want to determine how many are neutered males and neutered females. So we can apply that. That makes it a little bit easier to read. In fact, let me change this to a text table here. And we can, let's also drag in a filter of our count. And let's just say from 500 to whatever. And so now that brings it down. And now these are, these are on different lines. Let's put them together. Maybe, there we go, down like this. And so you can play around with these. So here we have the breed on the row and the column is the license type. And this sort of makes sense because we have two license types. So there's two columns. This is neutered males. This is neutered females. And now we can see by breed how many of them are neutered males and how many are neutered females. So very interesting and uh, very easy to do just by adding other dimensions. Now you can do more than two. You can do more than three. You can do as many as you want. Uh, we just, again, just start dragging things over and then tweaking them and filtering them to show, you know, whatever you want to show using that data. So we've got here a basic text table. We could play around with this with maybe a bar chart. Here we have neutered males, neutered females, kind of interesting. We could, instead of having the license type right here, we could drag this thing into maybe colors and now it changes back into one chart, right? But it's now broken apart by colors. And maybe that's more interesting for your visualization, right? So if we hover over here, we could see given anything, say golden retrievers, we can see that 872 of them are spayed female and 799 are spayed male. And we have this visualization that's kind of more interesting. We could, if we look at pie chart, eh, not so much. Again, pull over this license type. So those are a couple of ways to add more than one dimension to your visualization, more than one category, etc. And uh, very cool. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll look at creating custom measures. Ready to learn more? Then check out the full course on GoSkills.com. Click the link in the description.